Hello my friends, welcome back to Keto in the Chaos. My name is Tammy and on this channel I like to share all my tips and tricks on how I lost 207 pounds without surgery and how you can be successful on your own weight loss journey. So if that's what you're looking for, don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring the bell for more videos like this one to inspire you to get started. Welcome back everyone. I am so excited that you have come back to check in on me on my week 27 reverse diet update. It has been over six months since I started reversing my calories. I've gone from 1300 calories all the way up to 2150 and I'm still going. So this video, I'm going to talk about all of my results from this week on how things went with my calories, my exercise accountability, and all of my weights so that you can see my progress and how things are going for week 27 of my reverse. But first things first, I want to say thank you so much. Um, I got a couple of gifts in the mail that I have, I recorded last week and forgot to put in my video and I took forever to go to my P.O. box and get them. And so I want to put that clip in here of me opening those gifts for you guys to see and enjoy. Hey guys, I got a surprise today. I did not realize that there was a letter in my P.O. box um, that I had somehow missed. Back at Valentine's Day, I had sent Dave to get the letters from the P.O. box, and I thought that we had picked them all up, but apparently I missed one. And because I got a package in the P.O. box, um, I got notified that I had um, a package. So I'm going to go ahead and open those for you guys um, because it's been a while since I've gotten anything. I feel super bad because this one's like a while ago. Anyway, it says it's from D Gallagher. I know who that is, Deb Gallagher. I'm so excited to see what she sent me. I'm guessing it's a Valentine's card. It's a thank you card. Look how pretty that is. That's so gorgeous. I'm gonna open it. There's a letter and a gift card. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, now I feel even worse. I just left a gift card. I could have been buying myself something fun in there, but oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, oh. Oh, you're so sweet, Deb. Oh, so sweet. And she has, says she has four children and 12 grandchildren. Oh, thank you so, so much. Oh gosh, that is awesome. Thank you, Deb. I'm really sorry I left that in the box so long. I feel bad. Um, you probably were like, what the heck, Deb? You don't even say anything about my present. Thank you. I'm so sorry it took me so long. Okay, I've got another box. Also, what we got in here? Ooh. Oh, that gets big. I can't get it out. It's a huge... It's a huge container of IsoPure, the plain kind. Ooh, I see some doteen in my future. I've never made doteen, but this would be perfect for that. This is huge, like huge. And it's unflavored, so you can pretty much flavor it with any kind of flavor that you want, which is exciting. Let's see who it is from. It's got to be from somebody because I didn't order it. Thank you for your inspiration. Protein prioritize, dirty keto on, PPDK on from Natalie Large. Oh, thank you, Natalie. You're so sweet. Thank you, Natalie. This is awesome. What a nice present. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, so I just wanna say thank you again for those gifts and also thank you so much to Natasha who put on a post in my Keto Chaos group about donating money for my surgery. I have received so many awesome donations. I'm so grateful. You guys, my surgery is going to take place in July. I'm decided, I found a way to pay for it. I've got a credit card, a care credit account that I'm gonna pay for it with. Any money that's donated is going to go towards my payments and I'm grateful for every bit, but I am not gonna be starting a GoFundMe. I do not feel like GoFundMe is 
for regular type things like this. I feel like it's just for emergency situations like the video I posted yesterday um, about the family who lost their husband in tragic car accident. So if you do feel like you want to donate to someone's GoFundMe, will you please go check out the needy, the needy homesteader, K-N-E-A-D-Y homesteader and help them out because they are in a world of sadness and hurt right now and they could really use all of the help that they can get. So thank you again to all of my subscribers and for all of your support here on the channel. Just watching the channel, putting your likes and comments, it helps, every little bit helps. It helps the channel grow and when the channel grows, I'm able to do more and I'm able to help you guys more and I'm able to work harder to make this channel a better place for you to help you with your weight loss journey. So that all being said, let's get back to my weight loss journey. First things first, I'm going to talk about my exercise accountability. This week was crazy. My steps went up 2,000 in average steps because I had a dance competition on Friday and got 11,000 steps, most of which was earned in a three-hour block of time. I ran so much. And one of the best things about that was that I never once thought about whether or not I could. I just did. My body did it. My lungs could do it. I was wearing a mask and everything was great. I was able to run back and forth and back and forth and do everything that I needed to do without missing anything. It was crazy. I was tired. I was exhausted when it was over, but it was worth it. And also I got my steps a little higher on some of the other days, which put me up to 7,100, I think total average, not total average steps for the week. Um, also I did my exercise. I was able to go to my lyrical class and my clogging class this week, week, which was great. But Saturday with my girls, when I was doing, we were doing our lyrical practice, they did the warm up, and I did a couple of stretches, but I didn't record it because there was no way I was warming up with those girls. I was so exhausted from the competition on Friday. I could barely move. And so could they, we were in a world of hurt on Saturday morning. Um, I only did one chicken bucket workout this week because it fell on Tuesday. And I hope you guys enjoy all the clips from my exercise accountability to you guys for week 27 of my reverse. up my live chat with carnivore yogi and I came out here and the chicken bucket is empty it's been a whole week since I've had to fill it and I filled it so full last time I think that's why so I don't know if I'm gonna fill it all the way this time or not but I am going to do the chicken bucket workout all right, cause I'm free. Oh. 
Get him, girl. Get him. Get him. Get him, Spark. Get him. Get him. <laughs> My dogs just saw a falcon in the tree. And they're freaking out. <laughs> Good doggies. Good doggies. My chickens are like, save us, doggies. Save us. Falcons or hawks just flew over like huge. They ran, they flew off when I yelled at them. Ah, my babies. <sighs> squats with the first group and then had to make up for it with the second those big hawks keep coming back they're looking to see if I'm gone they fly back they see me still here and then they take off again there's three of them in a group they're after my chickens I've never lost any to a predator before so that makes me really nervous they have a lot of cover in here though so I honestly don't think that they could get my chickens but if they got in there with the chickens and the dogs, the dogs can't get into where the chickens are, so the dogs couldn't do anything, but they barked the heck at them, scared them off, so. Yay! Crazy! Oh my gosh. There's hair in my mouth, there's hair everywhere. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> ah, I gotta get on the rest of my day.
keep hearing something in the wind I keep coming back to you, my friend Think I'm feeling something new again Never going back, just take my hand So I hope that was entertaining for you guys. I really like sharing my exercise and being funny and like trying to make the hard part of my week, which exercise is not my most favorite thing to do, into entertainment for you guys, which really is motivating for me to get it done, for me to actually do it. In fact, as soon as I'm done recording this video, I got to go out and do me another chicken bucket workout for next week's video because it fell on Sunday this week. And yes, it is Sunday. And I did, I meant to apologize for that at the beginning of the video. I am recording my video late because of the whole craziness of this weekend. And that is probably going to happen more often as we go into dance competition season. And in fact, in two weeks, I will be on vacation. So the video will be probably pretty late um, next, in, in not next week, but the week after. And I may not even be doing a live chat that week because I may still be in post competition hangover, <laughs> if you can imagine. So week 27 calories, I feel like it went really well. I finally, finally, finally got to push my calories back up because I had a loss last week and I was able to push my calories up again. I haven't done that in like four weeks and I went for 21.53 average calories. I like to calorie cycle and so my weekend days are higher than my regular days of the week. And honestly, I am getting to the point now where I feel really satisfied and I'm not like hankering for some other food um, at the end of the day. But I am still being really careful to make sure I eat every single calorie that I've planned for myself. I don't want to fall in the trap of cutting too soon or wanting to go back into a cut phase. But I did try something new this week, which was I tried a new product. And I will there will be a video coming out once I finally wrap my brain around how this thing works. But I've been working with a new company on this video for a product called Lumen. It is a weight loss metabolism fixer. 
And since I'm not really in weight loss, it's been kind of tricky. I haven't been able to figure out exactly how it works, but it basically put me back into keto for half of the week this week. So my fats are a lot higher. My carbs are a lot lower. My numbers are a lot more skewed, a little different than they were before, but my calories are the same and my protein, I tried to keep the same. So I'm going to go into the calories and the macros, and then we can go to the weights and see how it went on the scale. So Saturday calories were 2364, Sunday 2365, Monday 2074, Tuesday 2068, Wednesday 2072, Thursday 2067, and Friday 2063. You can see I was extremely consistent with the calories that I had planned, but my macros were crazy all over the place. My highest protein for the week was 221 and my lowest for the week was 167. So you can see it kind of like ran a big gamut. And one day I did not hit my 170 goal, which is I like to hit one gram of protein per body weight. And then basically I've been kind of at 170, this whole reverse somewhere around that zone. And so the 170 protein is my, is my goal. And I try to exceed that. Um, carbs. My very highest carb day for the week was 145 net, which is very, very, very high for me. And my lowest carb day for the week was 16 net, which I haven't had car cal uh, carbs that low in, since week seven of the reverse. So 20 in 20 weeks, five months, I have not eaten carbs that low. So my total um, carbs added up and divided over seven days. My average carbs for the week were only 54 which is crazy because I think last week they were 110. <laughs> so that's a huge drop in carbs for this week. And I must say, I did not enjoy it. I went right back into having trouble with my electrolytes, not being able to keep them stable. Um, finally today, I'm getting to the point where I feel stable. I don't feel super tired. And part of that was, of course, the extra running I was doing and less sleep because two days this week, I only got five hours of sleep. So, you know, I can't blame it all on ketosis and it's just kind of like changing things up always messes with my weights. It always messes with me, you know, things like that. Um, as far as fats went, they were on the higher side. My lowest fat day for the week was 94 and my highest was 153, which was crazy high. <laughs> I haven't been that high ever, I don't think, except for maybe when I was trying to do the high fat maintenance way back two years ago or last year, well, way back last year. Um, I might've probably hit it then, but I was not tracking. So my average fat for the week was 114, which was up about, let's see, 24 from last week. So last, last week's average macros were 178 protein, 110 carbs, and 90 fat. And this week they're 192 protein, 54 carbs, and 114 fat. And yet basically my calories have gone up my average calories were 2153, which was pretty much spot on what I was planning, and they were up 47. So I was trying to go up 50, and they were up 47 from last week with adjusting those macros. So that all being said, did the switching things around with the fats do anything for my weight loss or for my weight maintaining, or did it make me gain weight like it has in the past? Did I have any satiety issues? Well, why don't we go ahead and check out all of the weights and then I'll come back and we'll talk about all of that. Jumping, flexing, I know. I just want to. Something you and me, oh You both got some of the best life, yeah All right, so there you go. You can see that the scale was not horribly mean to me this week. In fact, it, the scale did go down towards the end of the week as I was doing the lower carbs. I don't know if that was because I was dumping some more water weight that I already had. I will say this. My measurements have gone down again. My hips went down a half an inch and my waist went down a half an inch. And I think, I think part of that could be actual weight loss, but I know that I'm not to my maintenance level yet. And um, part of that could actually be just my body releasing the water that it was hanging on to while I was eating carbs, 
which obviously wasn't that much considering Sunday's weight was 173.8, went up to 174.4, went up to 175.2 on my carb days. Those were the days my carbs were higher. And then as my carbs went lower, it did go down, but it's not like a huge drop. I mean, maybe it is for you guys, but for me, it's like nothing. I, I have five pound drops constantly. So down to 174, then 173.6, Friday 171, and Saturday 170.2. And I will say this, I know if I didn't, if I was able to get more than five hours of sleep and I didn't do that weigh-in at 6 a.m., I probably would have been at 169 for the day, back to where I started at the beginning of the reverse. So basically, I'm like just back to where I was. My average weight for the week because of those high days was 173.1, and that put me up a half a pound, up 7.7 7 of a pound for the week, which should mean that I don't get to raise my calories up. Before we talk about what I'm going to do with the calories, let's talk about satiety. I know that in the past, I've said the reason I don't do high fat keto to maintain is because the satiety level just was not there for me. And I felt like I could just overeat and overeat and overeat fats. I will say this. I have not felt like I could overeat fats um, on this particular day, this week using these particular macros with my protein being exceedingly high and my fats higher than normal. I think the difference is I have still having my large protein meals that are really helping me stay full and I'm having higher fats but not ridiculously high. Like last year when I tried to stay at 120 of protein and have the fats really high, I overdid it on the fats and I had a really hard time keeping that into control and I gained a lot of weight. So I think having the proteins higher is helping me having that satiety and I honestly can say other than the ketosis symptoms, my hunger levels were actually better, um, obviously, because that's a ketosis symptom. I was less hungry, but I was way more tired, way lethargic. My brain didn't work very well. I was really not feeling mental clarity. I know that's because of a water weight whoosh, and I wasn't been able to get on top of my electrolytes, but that's part of the reason why I chose not to do keto at this point, because I, even when I'm meticulous and I'm taking a huge amount of sodium, I have a very difficult time. My body has a very difficult time keeping that level stable where I feel normal all the time. And I don't feel like I'm constantly really starving for sodium or having too much sodium. I can't quite find a balance no matter what I do. So this week was harder for me because of the ketosis factor, but weight wise, it was fine. Did the same thing it probably would have done if I'd eaten all the carbs. In fact, probably my weight would be going up if I was eating the carbs. Frankly, because this is coming into my water weight gain week, which we know is coming up. I'm coming into that part of my womenly cycle and I will be putting on water weight this week. And knowing that, I have decided I'm going to raise my calories up. So my goal for this week is I'm going to raise my calories up 25 so my goal is going to be 2175. So as if I had stayed the same weight instead of putting on a half pound, I'm gonna go ahead and risk it and go up because I know my weight's gonna go up this week no matter what and I'm gonna be stuck here so long and I don't wanna be stuck here because I know I'm not yet to my maintenance calorie level. So my goal for this week, today is going to be a 23, a 70 calorie day. Tomorrow, uh, yesterday was, and today, 2370, both of my weekend days, and then my weekdays, I think what I set for myself, I did not write it down, so that's why it's confusing me. I actually figured it out, but I'm pretty sure I'm doing 2100 calories for my weekdays. Ah, that's gonna be so nice, it's gonna be so nice. It will be really nice, especially if the little device I'm using will let me eat some carbohydrates, at least a few of them. Today, let me have a little bit, so hopefully tomorrow I will also get to have a little bit. So I will let you guys know about how that goes in a future video. You may or may not want to purchase a product depending on my results here. I am conversing back and forth with the product company and like the, the company trying to figure out if it's me that's a problem or if it's the thing doesn't work. I don't know, but it's like if it tells me I'm having zero carbs one more day, which to them is under 15 net. I'm going to start crying. I can't do that anymore. I don't want to do that anymore. I really don't mind the 45, but the zero, when it says zero, I just want to smack it right in a kisser. Anyway, all that coming in the future. I don't want to make this video too long. It's already too long. It's always too long. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you are having fun and getting entertained watching me figure out what I am doing in this crazy thing called maintenance. And I hope you guys will be back for another video coming up really soon. And we'll talk to you all again soon. 
Your book was my best life, yeah Something you and me, oh Your book was my best life, yeah Jumping, flexing, oh no 